Hi, my name is Mr. Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. Now this video shows you how to get started with ThingLink. ThingLink allows you to easily make interactive images by layering links and tags on top. For example, you could start with a map and then add links and information to those locations to bring that resource alive. You can also use the bank of 360 images to create a virtual field trip. So let's get started. ThingLink is a great way to freshen things up a little bit if you've been using a lot of PowerPoints and images and videos uh, as resources for your students during the remote learning period. Uh, this it might be a way to just bring a new topic to life in a slightly different way that you haven't already done. What it is, it's a way of creating sort of these unique visual learning experiences from images or video clips that are already there by embedding on top of them all these different tags. Right, so let's get started. Uh, go to thinglink.com and you're going to want to sign up. Uh, there are apps incidentally for iOS and Android but the best experience is on a browser. So to sign up, uh, well if you go to pricing we're part of the, the classroom and learning section here and you'll see there's a free teacher plan which does allow you to do most things. So click start for free there and it's going to ask you to sign up and you can as usual sign up with accounts you've already got so if you are Microsoft uh, school then you can sign up with your Microsoft login. Okay so once you're into ThingLink you've got a menu system along the top here let's start off by looking at Explore this is a place where you can find Thing links that have already been made and actually usually what you can do is just copy these and then edit them yourself so it's a good place to start potentially so you know let's say this is quite a nice one here just a little introduction to uh, the woodwind um, you've got a bit of information and then your little video clip that plays for each one uh, what's this human body some tags here going through all the different major systems in the human body uh, here's a, a piece of art um, so loads of different ways you could use it. Now let's say I wanted to copy one of these, very simple, at the top uh, next to the three uh, dots, ellipsis, I can click clone and it will say clone of systems you already created, continue browsing or start editing it now. So I can start editing that version which, or I can just click close and when I'm in my thing link here, if I click thing link at the top I'll just go back to my home area, you'll see there it is there's the clone that I made. So very easy to find content and copy it and then edit it for yourself. Okay, but let's say we're gonna start from scratch here. So I'm gonna click create and I'm gonna click upload image. I'm gonna pick this image here. And now I'm in the editing mode. So it's very simple. I right, click add tag and I've got four options. Okay, really easy. I've got text and media, let's start with that. Okay, give it a title. And what I can do is, is I can also add a link, a button. So when they click that, it'll take them somewhere else. So here I'm going to link to the Wikipedia page on Carl Linnaeus. Put that in the, in the button URL. And I can change the text here. And then I can add an image or a video clip. I can also app upload some audio that I've saved on my computer already or I can actually, if I press the microphone button, record uh, straight into this here. Just click allow and I'll be able to record some audio straight in. And I'll be able to record some audio straight in. There we go. So I have now added that audio clip into uh, into this tag. Okay. I can also change the tag icon, which is great. So this is a bit. I'm going to choose the eye for information. I can also choose the color. There we go. And I click done. Here's my first tag. All right. So I'm going to pop that up there at the corner. I can just click and drag tags wherever I want. If I click on it, you'll see and there's the information. Audio. It plays the audio automatically when they click on a tag. Okay. And I'll be able to record. Some and it's also got the immersive reader. So when I click that little icon next to it, I'm into the immersive reader, uh, which is all built in there, which is Microsoft's accessibility tool. So that's fantastic. And if I click here, then it will take me to that link that I've put in. So that's your first tag. Very easy, easy to do. Second tag, text label. This is very, very straightforward. Just a, a label that you can have pop up. Okay. Okay. Now that one you see, when I hover over it, it just gives me that little bit of text label. 
This one, add content from website, uh, is fantastic. It allows you to embed any content. So let's say I want to embed a, a video clip. I can just get the URL from YouTube and I can paste it into here, okay? And it will put that video straight in there. I can change the icon. Let's make this a little a YouTube icon and click done and pop that up there. And now when that is clicked on, they get to be able to watch that video live in the thing link okay you can embed all sorts of stuff in here you can embed um, a, a Google Maps for example so if you go to Google Maps and you click the share option click embed and it gives you this code this iframe code you can copy that paste that in here okay then it will give me that lovely map straight in there and again I might change the icon something more relevant for the map there we go so a little map, yeah, pop that one up there. Brilliant. Okay, so anything pretty much with one of those iframe embed codes means you can embed it into ThingLink. Okay, and the last one, Create Tour, what this does is it allows you to uh, link straight through to one of your other ThingLinks that you've already made, okay, or upload a new one. So let's say just for the argument's sake that I want to link through to this one uh, that I cloned earlier in this video about the human uh, systems and let's say I'm going to change the icon to make it a bit more relevant what it is okay and click done then that will now be a link through okay so when they click on that it will actually go take them to another thing link. So you can almost take them on a little presentation, on a little journey, on a virtual tour around different images um, and areas uh, using this linking option. So that's fantastic. Now, in the settings, you've got a few things here. You can change the color scheme, which is quite nice. You can even uh, choose your own colors. Tag animation, this kind of just makes them do that kind of flashy thing. So it kind of alerts people to them. It's quite nice when you kind of uh, go onto the picture. Hide logo, that's obvious, just hides the logo in the bottom right hand corner. And you can upload kind of background music or narration uh, that just plays for the whole of that thing link image when you're on there. Okay, and click done. And when you're done, obviously, you just click done. And there is my thing link all finished. So, what options have I now got to share that with my students? Well, if I click on the share button, you'll see I've got quite a few different options here. The embed media is probably the most powerful because it allows you to embed it into whatever system that you're already using. Uh, so for example, you might be using um, a VLE. We use Firefly in my school, so I can show you how that works. I can just copy that embed code, click copy code. I can go into a task on Firefly and I can just paste it straight in there. And there it is, straight within the Firefly task. Uh, they'll be able to interact directly with that thing link straight within the task or on a particular page. I've also just got the link, which is fantastic. So I can just take that link and put that anywhere and it'll take them straight online to view it. What's really nice is if you use OneNote, you can copy that link and you can go into OneNote page and paste that link straight in and you'll get the thing link straight within OneNote. And you've got publishing options as well, um, but those are probably the three things that you're going to use to share most obviously. Uh, my advice about settings in terms of privacy is to pick unlisted. Okay, and unlisted will allow you to put it into OneNote or allow you to put it into your VLE, but it won't necessarily be completely public. Or if you fancy, you could make it public so other people can find it and clone it if you like. Under the ellipsis, you can look at the statistics, which will show you how many people have viewed it. Um, quite useful. And you can also add it to a collection to, to organize your thing links. In. If I go back to my thing link homepage, you'll now see that that is there. It's got five tags on it. And if I click on the ellipsis again, I've got those options again for what I want to do with it. One last thing I'm going to show you actually are 360 images, because that's really, again, where thing links can become really exciting. Um, if you go to the welcome area and go to the 360 image library, there are huge numbers of fantastic 360 images already uploaded onto ThingLink. And you can clone these and add tags to them. Okay, so here's a nice one of Northern Lights in Finland. Here we go, look at this 360 image. Okay, so I can add tags to a 360 image here. So again, I'm gonna clone that because I wanna copy it myself. Okay, and I'm gonna start editing it and here it is, 
I can add a tag in the same way that we did before. Okay, I'm just going to demo this and I can put that anywhere I want on the whole 360 image. So this really opens up another world for them because they get to drag the image around and uh, look at it. And what's quite fun is uh, actually exploring this if you click on the headset VR option. Even without uh, a VR headset, you can get a kind of cool, quite a cool VR experience on your browser. So where they can really look around the 360 image and if they find a tag, there is a tag, they can explore that in kind of virtual reality way. So that's quite fun. So there you go. Easy to make simple resources become so much more dynamic, which might be ideal during this remote learning period. So I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.